Hello everyone, welcome to our initial installment of the Fabric 5 videos by Data on Wheels. Our goal with this video series is to bring architectural discussion to the forefront around how to work with Fabric from Microsoft moving forward in your environments. Without further ado, let's get started. The goal of this series is to really walk through a variety of ways to organize your one lake storage experience or other techno technology and architectural discussions to help you understand a key point in your decision making as you move forward with Fabric as it comes up on release in the fall. So as we start to look at these things, um, our goal at Data on Wheels is to provide a baseline for your understanding around the architecture and things that will help you. This is not going to necessarily have any demos, but the focus is around that architectural level discussion, how to implement and how to think more broadly about the fabric infrastructure, components involved and how it will help you have a great space to work in with your data state. So looking at fabric to begin with, we have the one lake environment that you can see here. In one lake, we have the encapsulation of all your storage in ADLS Gen 2 or the equivalent across the Microsoft ecosystem. One thing to be aware of in this scenario is that the one lake environment is one lake for every tenant. So every fabric tenant will have a single one lake environment from which storage, security, and compute are generated from. Within that one lake experience, we have workspaces. If you're familiar with Power BI, the concept is similar. You create a workspace and within that, it's the first level of workloads that you can create as well as storage. Effectively, it's like a storage account, but we don't know all the magic that happens behind in Microsoft and what they're doing and they have the ability to change that. So for the sake of this argument, we'd rather consider this a top level folder within one lake for you to operate from. As you start working in one lake, you have various assets that you can build out. Lake houses, data warehouses, KQL databases. Each of these represent another level within the infrastructure or within the structure of the data in your environment. Lake house, for example, store, has two primary top level folders. A folder for your tables, which are Delta storage, and a folder for files, which could be any type of file coming in like a typical lake house or data lake experience. Data warehouse, on the other hand, is guaranteed to focus more on a table structure, typically driven by a SQL experience and allowing you to interact with your data as if it were a SQL Server database for all practical purposes, even though underneath the covers is still stored as Delta tables inside the environment. KQL, once again, very similar. It has tables. They look like they are KQL tables, like Kusto or those type of storage for streaming data. But at the end of the day, it too will end up as Delta, allowing various compute structures to interact with the data in its native format across the board. As you look at one link, you can look at the link at the top of this visual. You have your one link environment your workspace, the item, the type of item. So if you had a lake house item, you would be tagged as a lake house type, the path underneath that and the file name. And these are the way that you will be able to interact with this data using APIs moving forward. Keeping in mind that one lake is tenant level, workspaces are the first level of interaction within the one lake environment you have to have a workspace. You don't work against one lake directly. You work in the context of a workspace. Within that workspace, various items can be deployed from Fabric and used to store your data. As we dig into the rest of this series, we will look at things like implementing medallion architecture, or should you store your data in a data warehouse or a lake house? What are these different variety of ways to handle storage 
as well as other items of architectural consideration within the environment. We hope that you'll continue to follow the series. We plan to have this pushed out weekly. We hope that you enjoy it. If you do, take a moment and subscribe, like, share, talk about it. The goal is to get the conversation started. Feel free to add information to the comments. We will do our best to respond in a timely manner. Thanks again for taking a few minutes to share the Fabric 5 with us.